Spokane man already charged with killing his girlfriend's baby last month is now accused of abusing another child. Nevaeh Miller died last month at Sacred Heart Medical Center. Doctors there have said she died of homicidal violence. Jeremy Bassett pleaded not guilty today for Nevaeh's death. He's told a couple of different stories, but maintains Nevaeh died after an accidental fall. We've now learned that Bassett is accused of abusing Nevaeh's brother while Nevaeh was fighting to survive. KXLY force Karina Shagrin live at the courthouse with some new details. Karina? Well, according to court documents, Robin, Jeremy Bassett is not only accused of killing baby Nevaeh, but strangling her eight-year-old brother as well. Court documents say it happened while the eight-year-old was left alone with Bassett, while his mother and baby sister were in an ambulance racing to the hospital. She just was beautiful. Just days after Nevaeh Miller's death, the baby's great-grandmother asked the one question everyone still struggles with. My God, who would harm a child? I mean, a little baby. It now appears the man accused of killing baby Nevaeh may have abused her eight-year-old brother as well. In court today, Jeremy Bassett pleaded not guilty to murder charges and charges of assault of a child. According to court documents, just moments after Nevaeh was rushed to the hospital, her older brother commented the baby may be brain dead. The little boy told police at that point Bassett grabbed him around the throat and began strangling him as hard as he could. Court documents continue to say Bassett choked the boy to the point he was having a hard time breathing. Bassett threw him on the bed. The boy had to get a drink of water because of the choking. I know for a fact that he would not deliberately harm a baby. Bassett's mother, Tammy Noggle, told KXLY4 last month she doesn't believe her son is capable of hurting children, although she admitted with Bassett's drug and alcohol problems, he shouldn't have been left alone with his girlfriend's two kids. I don't think the mother made a very good judgment in leaving the child with my son, not saying that he would neglect the child. Who's responsible for all of the injuries will be highly debated in court. The ultimate decision of guilt, though, is now up to a judge to decide. And Jeremy Bassett remains in jail on a $1 million bond. His trial for both charges is set to begin at the end of June. However, the judge said today that date might not be realistic. She acknowledged both sides might need more time to prepare for the upcoming trial. Live at the courthouse, Karina Shagrin, KXLY4.